Howdy folks, DBART here, bringing you another recipe from the MariaDB cookbook. I've got my handy dandy MariaDB hoodie on, so I am ready to go. Let's jump right into it. Today's recipe is from chapter one of the cookbook. Uh, it's going to be installing MariaDB on Ubuntu. So I have a VM here uh, running Ubuntu Trusty. And so let's jump right into it. First stop, Firefox, specifically MariaDB.org. So if you go to MariaDB.org, and I apologize for the slowness of my internet connection today, uh, you scroll down, and on the, this left-hand column, you'll, there is a repository configuration tool. And if you click on that, uh, you will come to this little tool that the MariaDB developers created to make it easy to install MariaDB on the Linux distribution of your choice. So we're on Ubuntu, so I'll click on that. And then I'm on Ubuntu Trusty, so I'll click on that. And I want 10.1. Uh, I can also choose the mirror if I want. For example, if I wanted to use the OSU mirror, I could just click on that, and the instructions will update uh, for that. So here are the commands to run to install MariaDB on your Ubuntu system. So first thing we want to do is install Software Properties Common. Now, I think it's already installed on this VM, and yes, it is. So second is to install the signing key. So I use this command to install that key. And it'll go out to the key server, and it imported it just fine. So next is to actually add the repository. So we'll use this command, add that repository. The repository is now added. Once the key is imported and the repository added, you can install MariaDB with the following two commands. So first we'll run an apt-get update. Hopefully it won't take too long. And we're done. All right, so then apt-get install MariaDB-server is all we need to do. So go ahead and paste that in run that. Uh, there's some dependencies that it needs to install, some suggestions that we're going to ignore, and let's go ahead and say yes. Press enter, and now it will go out to the mirror, mirror and download the packages that it needs. Getting there, hopefully it won't take long. All right, one of the things that MariaDB asks you when it goes to install is to set a password. This is a good idea, so I will put in a super secret password. Repeat it. There we go. And then it will go through the rest of the install steps. I am hopeful that it will not take long. All right. One of the things it has to do, the installer has to do when it first runs, is it has to start up the server and install the system tables. Uh, the stuff that contains things like the user database and the list of installed uh, things like the performance schema, things like that. There's there's special tables and databases it needs to create as part of the install process. So that's that's what all of these notes are about. Where it says uh, stopping MariaDB, starting MariaDB. It has to start it up, install some stuff, then stop it, and then start it up again. Anyway, it goes through the process. You'll be kicked back to the command line, and MariaDB is installed and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and run the MySQL command line client. The only user that we have is root, so we'll use that user, that user and then uh, password. So here's the password, 
And here we go. All right, we are in. Welcome to MariaDB. Well, welcome to the MariaDB monitor, actually. Uh, tells us the server version, uh, 10.1.8. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what we have. Let's do show databases. All right, so we have the information schema, the performance schema, and then the MySQL database. The MySQL database uh, is the one that, that has various uh, internal information in it. We don't really want to touch that, so why don't we go ahead and create a database? My underscore database. All right. Um, and then let's use it. There we go. Database changed. And now let's create a table. Create table T1. Uh, let's see. A int. That, that, that's it. Um, just one column and we'll make it be an integer. Um, then let's go ahead and insert into T1 value, uh, values 1. Uh, let's put in a 2 and a 3 and a 4. Now let's select. Select from T, T1 Select everything from T1, and there we go. So everything appears to be working uh, the way we want it to. Um, uh, you can check out other recipes for more advanced uh, uh, usage and go through some of the examples that I do in the book. But for right now, this recipe is done. We have in successfully installed MariaDB on Ubuntu specifically Ubuntu Trusty, but these instructions will work for any uh, version of Ubuntu that's supported, um, which is basically every version of Ubuntu that uh, Canonical is currently supporting. So the MariaDB developers are very good about keeping on top of that. So anyway, that's all for now. Have a great day.